What's up, YouTube? This has been Macintosh back for another uh, DVD review. This one's of a 20 horror film pack. I know what you're thinking. Ben, your standards must be pretty low. You're watching a lot of low-budget stuff. I love anything and everything film. I'm an actor. Therefore, I love anything that I can act in, including these low-budget horror films. The one I'm going to be talking to you about today, though, is called The Greenskeeper. And I gave this movie, right, when I was when I was about to watch it, I'm like, this is going to be pure shit. I'm going to have to be honest with you. It surprised me a bit. It was funny. It definitely had the points that made me jump. I didn't expect the ending. It was a little ridiculous at times. But here's the story. This guy is having these weird dreams, and he's, he's like an assistant to the greenskeeper at his stepdad's uh, golf course. And his girlfriend's a real bitch, but his friends are stoners. You know, average kind of start to a horror film. And there's a story of this guy called the greenskeeper who is very badly burned due to an accident, and he's been killing people that go near a shack toward the back of the golf course. Starts to come true as a couple of the golfers, the rich golfing boys, are picked off. But, you know, people go home, except for a few people, that this uh, tennis instructor and people that are throwing a party there stay. And it's also this dude, I think his name's Alan. His birthday is that day. And his dad, dad did die. That's why he's a stepdad. And, uh... It kind of goes through, like, it's picking off the douchebags, and there's some pretty interesting deaths, like with the post hole digger, you know, it was cheesily done, but it was, there was some decent stuff, and there's this, uh, foreign girl he's attracted to, that she's smarter than these dumb bitches, and she manages to get out of Dodge. I think the coolest kill, though, I'm gonna talk about after the plot synthesis, so him and this girl kind of, and the greenskeeper takes his girl to her shack and then he comes from the other side and attacks her turns out the stepdad's been the one killing people and the actual greenskeeper guy is his dad who was badly burned couldn't talk anymore lived in the shack away from him apparently they're brothers or something uh so the dad apparently the son alan was going to get on it because he turned 25 on his 25th birthday he was going to inherit the golf club and stepdad was having no part of that well uh greenskeeper guy comes in tax stepdad kills stepdad or almost kills stepdad and stepdad is killed by alan and his girl i know that's a really crappy summary of the story but there's really not much to talk about oh and there's this black guy who's like his mentor that comes and kills him kills the dude and the greenskeeper dies and then Alan, this black guy, this foreign girl, escape. Because it's really just your average low-budget film, but the kills were interesting. When he puts, like, nails in the ball shooter, that was cool. Like, there was some cool, uh, interesting stuff that, with a bigger budget, could have looked amazing. This greenskeeper could have had the potential, and the acting wasn't the greatest, but it had the potential to be a really good, like, Friday the 13th style horror film. Because it kind of looked like the burning because he had the shears. But they didn't have a big budget and the acting wasn't the greatest. But the acting was decent for what it was. And I'm going to give it a, a C plus For not the greatest effects but decent acting and a great storyline. Uh, if you definitely uh, ever find this in a low budget horror film pack, pick it up. Because it's a really uh, neat flick. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a little uh, better information on the plot. But... There's really not much to talk about the plot. I mean, it's kind of every like I want you to go and watch it. Plus, it's been a while since I watched it, so I, I, it's, I need a refresher to go back and tell you everything that happened in this, though. But it's good, G gory, fun, and uh, probably one of the better of the low-budget films of today. You know, it's no Clerks, but it's definitely good. So uh, yeah, check it out, Greenskeeper, on this 20 horror film pack. Um, also, since I got that review done fairly quickly, because I didn't have much to talk about on it, but it's decent and you should watch it, I'm going to probably later in the week show you what I got for Christmas, the day after Christmas, the day after the day after Christmas, and from Amazon.
I'm going to show you all those DVDs and, you know, I'm going to review them later. As you will see, I'm going to review. I'm just just give you a heads up on what's happening. Also, I'm going to be doing a collection video showing you everything in my collection that I have. From everything I've watched, which is all alphabetized according to genre, to the stuff I haven't watched that I need to throw in to alphabetize. And the stuff I've watched and haven't alphabetized. You'll see it all. I have a lot of DVDs. Definitely be divided into part videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, this has been uh, Ben McIntosh Review. Uh, comment if you ever want me to go and review anything else you see or, or you want me to do a better review of The Greenskeeper. Uh, let me know and I will uh, watch these movies and review them for you. Uh, Thank you all for watching. Uh, for those of you who watch, definitely subscribe and uh, maybe I'll get a better camera, be able to throw some effects in here, some pictures in here, have a really good time with it. This has been a Ben Macintosh review. This has been Macintosh signing out. Have a very great night. Later.